All right, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. You guys are awesome, of course. <laughs> um, it's October 30th, 2017. A new start to the week was yesterday, not today, okay? So I know a lot of you guys are, oh, this is a new start of the week. Nah, it was yesterday, right? Sunday to Saturday is the week, okay? <laughs> not Monday. But and a lot of you guys are going to get used to that once you start having money and start traveling the world, you'll realize that, okay? <laughs> um, but anyways... So I uh, hope you guys are doing well. October 30th, uh, one more, uh, actually today and tomorrow, the last two days of October, then we're going into November. We saw a lot of things happen in October, historical things happen. So that gives us good momentum going into November uh, and December and then 1118. Um, hoping to see something change here, hoping to see the uh, uh, reset in the uh, in the financial markets of Iraq, um, hoping to see that out of the chaos, out of this circumstances, out of all the things that have gone on, out of the stepping down of Brazani, all of this uh, results into some uh, positivity uh, to release a rate change for the people of Iraq and for everybody that's invested, right? Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to quickly go through the articles. There's not much to talk about, and I got to go I go do some things today. So um, that's why the videos are short today. Um, but I'll pray at the end, uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, we'll release the video to you guys, okay? So uh, U.S. policy uh, raises, uh, uh, praises, excuse me, uh, Brazani's decision and calls for Erbil and Baghdad to resolve the crisis quickly. Okay. So America is praising the uh, Brazilian decision to step down and uh, and to and to remain a Pershmerger and to have uh, the Prime Minister Brazani basically take over and uh, others coming in to take over the position to you know to to stop all of the uh, the wars all of the baffling all of the uh, you know all of the things that the the things that are not going right with Erbil and Baghdad and uh, Brazani stepping down is going to bring a lot of peace basically back into the region for a short period of time and it's going to be able to probably release the economic uh reforms and stuff like that also uh, article 140 can get done now and uh all these other things can get done okay the sacrifice of the referendums was what was needed and we did see that and uh we saw that this year we were supposed to see it in 2015 but we didn't but we've seen it this year so i'm looking for 1118 or before to see Alok make a move, I'm, I'm hoping. If not, then if he goes past that, then look for April. Like, like you know, people like, because that's the time frame that they've done it in the past. So, yeah. So we'll see if he goes past one 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 eight. Then you'll be looking at April, and you know what I mean. If it goes by April, you'll be looking at September. Okay, but at some point within this next year, we're gonna see a rate change because he's already removed the restrictions. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh. The uh, the resumption of the flow of Kurdish oil to our, our Turkey after a stop for hours. Yeah, so Turkey's back online here, stopping for hours. I guess because of all the uh, craziness that was going on, and now Brazani stepped down, so now they're back and uh, they're back with the oil. And also, a uh, Prime Minister Brazani of the Kurds also said that they uh, were talking about that and uh, making sure that the oil was going through with Turkey, uh, getting all that done. Uh, the Baghdad Economic Forum and the Secretariat uh, of the Council of Ministers organized a workshop on the importance of sovereign funds. Okay, uh, it says sovereign for, for funds and the role and their role in the development of the Iraqi economy in the presence of a number of concerned officials, parliamentary and uh, local and foreign economic figures, academics, and representatives of some. Uh, embassies, international organizations, the World Bank, and United Nations. Oh, wow, they're all at this workshop. Cool. Um, it says managing and judging the rationale and rationally, uh, uh, judging them rationally by drawing on the experience of the of other countries. Okay. It says requirement on the Iraqi economy. So they talked about the Iraqi economy, and they're talking about sovereign wealth funds. Um, what else they talk about? The implementation of funding on a continued basis, okay, and to start the work on, const on constructing uh, in Iraq. Yeah, so the big thing is constructing, right, is, is constructing. So um, others say to said that the uh, head of the Central Bank of Iraq, uh, the option available to build a sovereign fund in Iraq in the current circumstances uh, and uh, the prospects of future development, uh, 
Okay, so they pre, uh, they presented visions to build a sovereign fund uh, to these entities and these people. Okay, and then they also reached uh, by specialists in the field of economy and finance. Okay, so cool. So more workshops, more things, uh, you know, they were doing uh, with the World Bank and the IMF and the uh, United Nations, blah, blah, blah. Got it. Okay, so let's see here. It says, Brazani, what happened in Kirkuk treason? And America stood up. Uh, spectator. Okay, so basically saying that I, I you know, I brought my body, a force, uh, announcing the Iraqi forces to go take over Kirkuk and bring it back to the federal government uh, was treason uh, because it was under the Kurds' de uh, delegation or jurisdiction or whatever you want to say, and that America just stood by and allowed it to happen. Okay, and they allowed that area of Kirkuk to go back under the federal government of Iraq when Kurds actually had the land and they, they should have activated Article 140 because Kirkuk wanted to be with the Kurdistan region and they also voted to go independent and Kirkuk uh, uh, Peshmerga forces, I mean not Kirkuk, but uh, Kurdistan Peshmerga forces were are already in the land, protecting the land that they had won over from Daesh, right? So, that's why he's calling it treason and uh but at the end of the day man guys and girls we want them to be civilized and we want them to have we want them to have purchasing power right so if that if america and the, uh, and the international coalition want baghdad to own that area and so they cannot art so they can implement article 140 and all this stuff so you guys can be wealthy and citizens can be wealthy so we can be wealthy then it's fine i don't i don't really care any longer um just get it done Okay, and there is some type of airborne blast that's going on in Baghdad, okay, right now. It's some type of fog event. It's either a fog event or some type of, uh, I don't know, they're calling it an airborne blast, but it might be a fog event that's some type of fog events going over uh, Kurdistan region in Iraq right now, and and uh, it's kind of weird. Okay, so anyways, I'm not sure it was thick fog. I saw some video of it, and it was... Uh, really thick fog so i'm not sure they can see or not but uh, they, they, they're calling it an airborne blast okay so that's all the news i have for iraq here um i'm pretty sure there's gonna be more news to come out later today maybe i'll be back later once i finish all the activities i need to do um parliament postpones a session for tomorrow no 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 they didn't <laughs> again <laughs> Um, suspension of air traffic in Iraq due to dust storm. Okay, so it is a dust storm. Okay, I saw that. I was like, man, that thing is thick. I, I you can't see anything. So interesting. So hopefully everybody's safe out there in Iraq going through that. That's crazy. Um, I don't think I ever saw. I don't think we had too many. Maybe I had maybe one or two while I was living in the Middle East. Maybe I saw maybe one or two dust storms. Maybe more. I can't remember. But it wasn't. I never. Got into a position where I was driving in the Middle East, and I was like, whoa, I can't see anything. I don't think that ever happened to me. Maybe once, maybe, and I had to pull over and just wait it out. But other than that, it was really, I never had any problems with that most of the time. Okay, so, yeah. And I used to drive all around out of the Middle East, so, you know, like you guys already know, I used to live in the Middle East, so... Uh, I went there and uh, I, I had a car, you know, I remember I had a Mazda 3, <laughs> Mazda 3, I had a Mazda 3 rental car, um, and that's one I use a lot, uh, so that, you know, so anyways, that's giving up too much information, um, <laughs> anyways, uh, Bitcoin's still holding steady here at 6,070, uh, Ethereum's down, Ripple's down, Bitcoin Cash is down, Litecoin's coming down, Dash is down. Looks like a lot of things are going red, and Neo's going coming up a little bit here, almost two percent. Uh, Miso goes down, and Miso Go and Neo should be booming right now at the China news on on uh, not going to halt, going to regain tr uh, Bitcoin trading again. That should boom Neo and Miso Go here in the future. That's why those are two coins I would hold. Uh, BitConnect coming down just a little bit, but still booming. Uh, they were raining. I'm going to go on my Instagram and I'm going to post that video. I'm going to share that video or at least show you guys that video on Instagram. Uh, if you're not following me on Instagram, it's currency365 on Instagram. Okay. Okay, so if you uh, uh, Bitcoin, if you were at the Bitcoin conference, they were after they uh, presented their uh, ATM machine, they uh, were raining down hundred dollar bills on the crowd. I mean, it was crazy. Okay, so I'll, I'll try to show that on um, on uh, Instagram. Let's see here, uh, Zcash. 
Okay. EOS is booming. Artcoin at 242. Uh, Tron down 15%. Gollum down. Populous up 5%. Uh, status up 2%, Dogecoin up a little bit still, Civic up a little bit, uh, actually Civic's up like 5, almost, yeah, 4.61%. This one used to be, this one has so much buzz coming out, 0x, now and it's just losing traction badly, you know? So sometimes that happens, people come out and they just, they come into the top 10, top 15, and then all of a sudden they just lose steam. Uh, because they're not putting out any news or they're not, you know, people just logged, people s sold everything they had and uh, moved on. So a lot of coins when you come out, like Electronium, we're waiting on Electronium to, to hit the markets here and they go live up uh, November 1st. It's probably going to come into the top 25, top 20, maybe even top 10, you know, because of the, the buzz it has for being, a, um, you know, a mobile a mining app. So you know, so uh, that's going to probably bring it up to the top 10. It's probably going to start booming. People are going to be, hedge funds and big groups are going to be, you know, probably be buying the crap load of it in the open markets and uh, trying to push the price up. Maybe this that's probably what they, you know, if I'm the CEO and the team, that's what I would do. Have big fundings come in and push the price up to get that buzz going even more. Uh, and that will give them the ability to, to be able to dump more coins into the open market as well, right? You don't want the coin to come out and then dump, and then you still need to, you still want to dump another two, three billion coins, right? So you want to have that buzz behind it. You want to, you want to have the hedge funds groups or the big whales come in, push the price up to about ten cents, and then you can dump you about two, two billion coins. Uh, onto this uh, circulating supply if that's their plan. You know what I mean? So you would think that that's what you would do. But anyways, uh, it, it will have some buzz coming out, and so we'll see how uh, it does uh, once it hits the open markets. Um, if it gets to ten cents, I mean, golly, that would be great for me. I mean, that would be that would be uh, that would be big. That'll be almost six figures, right? Almost, almost six figures if it hits ten cents. It'll be. Um, um, let me see if it double if 20 cents would definitely be over six figures for me. So I want to see a big boom in Electronium, man. I want to see this thing hit 50 cents, come out with big boom like uh what's that one did? This one right here. Uh Cardano did, you know, 25 billion in circulation. Uh Electronium's gonna have about four to six billion in, in circulation. So I want to see that thing explode into the top ten and just uh, have a massive buzz around 30, 40, 50 cents. I don't think, this, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. It all depends on what they do and all and the big news that comes out on that day. If I was them, I would bring out a massive amount of news on that day as well. Some big news, AT&T deal, Verizon deal, something like that. Some type of deal, uh, put that out on, on once you go live on the exchanges so, so people can rush in to buy the coin. You know, maybe take it to 50 cents, man. And I'm, I'll am i be debt free if it goes to 50 cents, man. <laughs> you know? um, so anyways, uh, let's pray, guys and girls. We're done with Iraq. Uh, nothing else. We're just waiting on them. Uh, looks, everything's going according to the what I thought was going to happen if they went through with the referendums, the backlash, the the uh, the fall of Barzani, uh, or you know taking leaving and all these other things. Did the Iraq getting back the territories so they can activate Article 140? Um, you know the banks urging the citizens to deposit the three zero notes. The citizens saying raise the value. Uh, all this stuff's happening now. So we're just going to have to wait and see if they get it done, if they release the rate by 1118 or not. But we hope it looks like they will, but that doesn't mean nothing is guaranteed. They could easily de delay somehow, you know, with a free country because they're about to be free of all terrorism in Iraq here in a couple of weeks. Uh, and then Baghdadi is going to be um, announced that uh, they have captured him or dead or something like that by America here soon as well, uh, in my opinion. But I could be wrong. And so we could see all this, this you know, in the year of the reset, and then we could see the change, or they could wait till April of next year to do it. We we don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. But let's pray, Heavenly Father. We thank you. We thank you for this day. We thank you for waking us up, guiding us, protecting us, healing us. We thank you for the night. For those that are at nighttime right now, for those that are in the afternoon, we thank you for the afternoon. Those that are in early morning, we thank you for the morning. We thank you, Lord, for just being there for us, guiding us, protecting us, healing us, and loving us. We thank you for your word. 
you are the word and the word is in us and the word is in you and we thank you for the word we thank you for the holy spirit the ruha kadesh we thank you for yeshua who did the ultimate sacrifice for us lord so that we could be cleansed of our sins and repent for our sins and be washed again and be filled with the Holy Spirit to enter your kingdom. Right now, Heavenly Father, we we uh, repent for all the sins that we have committed and done secretly, unknowingly, knowingly, uh, hidden uh, uh, sins that we have done. We, we repent for those sins right now. We repent for talking to people r rudely. We repent for every activity we've done. We repent for all the things that we are doing that is not of you. Every tradition of man that is not of you, every holiday that is not of you every evil event that is not of you everything that we're doing that is not of you that we don't know about or we do know about we repent for it right now and please wash us clean um and with your blood and with the and fill us with the holy spirit we thank you lord uh we thank you for your guidance and your protection we thank you for the 365 crew for the eyes open media crew uh we thank you for putting people around us we th I thank you for putting the prophets around me as i am a prophet as well and i thank you for making me a prophet i thank you for allowing me to see uh the things that i'm able to see in the spiritual realm i thank you for the uh things that others are able to see i thank you that anybody who is walking true of you and is a part of you and fighting the good fight uh, can also have the gifts of, uh, to be able to see uh, and be able to see in the spiritual realm clearly and be able to hear your voice as well and to hear the Holy Spirit and to hear Yeshua's voice. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. We, we cancel every demonic dream, vision, entity, any anything that is in the demonic realm, in the in the in the uh, spiritual realm that is demonic, we will cancel it now, and we don't we do not agree with any demonic wording from family members or friends against us or towards us. We cancel it, and it will not affect us. And we turn it back and we send everything that is evil back to the sender. Everything that is demonic back to the sender. Anything that is not helpful, positive, or holy, we send it and cancel it out of our lives and send it back to the sender. A hundred million billion trillion fold, pin with the blood of Yeshua. And we thank you and, and pin with the blood, uh, the Holy Spirit as well. And, uh, and we fill ourselves with the Holy Spirit and we thank you and we're protected by the Holy Spirit as we go throughout the day today and throughout this week. Let this week be a wonderful week for us. Thank you so much for just guiding us and giving us favor. We open the doors to financial wealth right now in the name of Yeshua. We thank you for the wealth transfer. We thank you for the financial wealth. We thank you for opening the doors. We thank you that everything that we're a part of is going to kaboom, 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 prosper, prosper, prosper. We are not people who wait. We take action. Successful people take action and make no excuses. And we that's who we are. And that's who we are. That's who we are. And that's who we are. In the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray. Shalom. Enjoy the day, everybody. Eyes open.